Hello everyone and welcome! Welcome to Epic Cosmic Journey! And here with you, Commander Evolution and Battle Cat! Hi guys, we're traveling to Jupiter! Thank you, Navigator Battle Cat! Yes, guys, we are on our way to Jupiter! Right now we are by Terraform Mars, it's not the Earth, guys. And this is Martian Space Station, where we fixed our ship, where we refill it, where Battle Cat bought a lot of Martian chocolates. And we even upgrade our ship! The holographic interface looks a bit different now, check it out, guys! Here we go! Look! at this present from our martian friends new upgrade of interface thank you thank you mars and what is even more important our spaceship got name we name it agamaga agamaga what a strange word why agamaga but okay because i created that word and to be honest guys i have no idea what is that word mean but i know that people usually call ships female name and that sounds to me like female i don't know i never meet girl with name agamaga but we've got a ship named agamaga Come on, Agamaga, speed up and take us to the biggest, to the heaviest, and to first planet of our solar system. By first, I mean the oldest. It was first formed planet in our solar system, way before planet Earth was formed. When Jupiter was formed, our planet was just a cloud of dust and Many evidence shows that if not Jupiter, we would not even exist because Jupiter is like Earth's grandfather who protecting our planet from really big dangers like huge asteroids, meteoroids, comets by its super strong gravity pull it's pulling all that object on itself so now we will have opportunity to say thank you to this giant friend of human race and our entire planet commander jupiter is very radioactive we have to deploy radiation shields thank you battle cat this is very important Jupiter is the most radioactive planet in our solar system. Look at our speed, guys! We are moving so fast! And we are about to set our new record! 47, 48, 49, 50! 50 times faster than speed of light! Our new record in epic cosmic journey! This speed is equals to 15 million kilometers per second. It's 54 billion kilometers per hour. And with this speed we still can't reach Jupiter. That's how far is that planet. And consider that we already travel in more than 3 minutes. And we are approaching, look at these guys, from here we already can see that Jupiter's planetary system looks like star system. It has so many cosmic bodies rotating around this planet. Battle Cat, can you please tell us how many? Jupiter has 79 natural satellites. Thank you, Battle Cat, and check this out, guys. We just passed one of them. I'm not sure which one it was, but I'm sure it's definitely one of the four biggest moons of Jupiter. Three of those moons is bigger than our moon, and one of those moons, Ganymede, is even bigger than planet Mercury. But now let's get back to our beautiful giant Jupiter itself. Look at this. This planet is so heavy. Did you know guys that Jupiter is heavier than all planets combined? Thank you Battle Cat, yes guys, imagine Jupiter is more than two times heavier than all the rest planet combined. And imagine with this size and this mass, it's the fastest spinning planet in our solar system. The duration of day is equal only to 10 Earth's hours. 
where is one year on Jupiter is equals 12 Earth years. Jupiter is the third brightest object on our night sky. Just think about this, how huge objects should be to reflect enough amount of sunlight to be visible so much on a distance over 700 million kilometers. And we are sliding on Jupiter's planetary rings. They're not so famous like Saturn rings, but Jupiter has rings. And we will look at them a bit closer a bit later. But for now, let's just look at this beautiful sunset on Jupiter. Look at this. The sun is so tiny from here. Jupiter receives 25 times less light and heat than planet Earth, but that does not make it less beautiful. Look at this. Jupiter has the largest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, spanning over 5,000 kilometers in altitude. It's like 5 hours flight on aeroplane just to get through atmosphere. That is really thick atmosphere. But okay, let's just get back to cockpit and I wanna see how fast I'm moving now. Over 3000 kilometers per second. Battle Cat, how is our systems? Commander, the systems are fine, but in this environment I have to always keep eye on them. Thank you Battle Cat for keeping us safe because this environment is very dangerous. Jupiter's enormous magnetic field is 16 to 54 times as powerful as that of the Earth. Jupiter was visited multiple times by a number of spacecrafts and one of them orbiting Jupiter right now. NASA space probe Juno. All right, we're getting back on a bright side and now let's have a proper look closer to details. What are we seeing here? The planet is shrouded with dense and dynamic clouds, but the thickness of the clouds layer is only 50 kilometers. Considering the size of the planet, it's very thin layer. There are a lot of storms raging in the atmosphere of Jupiter and one the most famous of them is of course great red spot and we can observe it now this storm is raging over 350 years okay what next let's go and check what jupiter's rings are made of and i taking control this is gonna be not very easy and we must be very, very careful. I will have to do special maneuver. I will fly to the outer ring to escape strong gravity pull. Then I will U-turn and then we will dive into the Jupiter's ring like into the space ocean. <laughs> but remember guys, we are moving very fast and the rings moving too. So we need to take in consideration all that factors and be very careful because there's a lot of large objects we will see when we will uh, fly not so fast. We need to exit super cruise now and that's a serious moment. Here we go. Uh, look at this guys. This ring's full of space rocks and space dust. But some of these rocks, size of a house, they're huge. We will get closer now, you will see. Check it out, there is two more spaceships out there. Battle Cat, contact them on the radio. Hey guys, let's play hide and seek behind the asteroids. What a cool idea, but I don't think they can hear you or maybe they just can't speak English or maybe it's another reason and not very friendly one. Why are they scanning our ship? Maybe they are pirates? For any case, better let's get out of here. Who knows who are those guys? And before we smash our ship over one of these rocks, 
we will better continue our journey. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.